For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, now we're gonna do this problem that says the pole is subjected to a force F which has components along the X, Y and Z axis. If the magnitude of F of 3 is given and you got beta equals to 30 and this angle is equal to 75, determine the magnitude of the three components. So this problem is very easy and short actually. So we got F that we're trying to find. F has an X component, a Y component, and a C component. And you know that the magnitude of F is equal to 3 K, I'll just hope for 3 for now, we'll put a K at the end. So you know that since you got beta, which is the angle that it forms with the Y axis is 30, and you got the angle that it forms with the Z axis, which is 75. So with the magnitudes and these angles, you can already find these two. So F of C is equal to F cosine of 75, and F of Y is equal to F cosine of 30 which means that this is 2.6 and this is 0.78 now how do we find the x component easy you know that the magnitude square is equal to f of x square plus f of y square plus f of z square you already got the y you already got the c and you already got the magnitude this is the one we're looking for one equation one variable just plug the numbers in. 3 squared is equal to f of x squared plus 2.6 squared plus 0.78 squared. When you solve for f of x, you're going to get that is equal to 1.28. So the Cartesian vector, let's put it right here, 1.28. The Cartesian vector is going to be 1.28i plus 2.6j plus 0.78k this is the Cartesian vector and the magnitude of the three components final answer if you have any problems or any anything that you want me to solve from any book why don't you request it at the comments below and I'll be happy to help